Good morning. Welcome back to Luke chapter 7. Today, verses 9 and 10. Let's leap into it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned around and said to the crowd that followed him, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And those who were sent returning to the house found the servant well who had been sick. So here's the story. We've done it through. This is the third morning on this story. Centurion, he's got a servant. He's sick. He sends to Jesus. He just says, please, please uh, heal my my servant. The Jews come to Jesus. They tell him, look, you know, this guy's a good guy. He's, he's, he's given money to the church. He's really helped us with a big building project. You should help him on that basis. Jesus says, well, I'm coming, but that, that wasn't the basis. The man hears Jesus is coming. He says, don't, don't, even, you don't need to come to my house. I'm not even worthy for that. He's a person of humility. And he says, look, I just know that when you say it can happen, it can happen. That's all. I, I, I'm ready. I'm your, I'm here to be ser- your servant. And that's the way faith works. And Jesus takes this now and he gives this example. By the way, this example would really kind of stick in their stick in their craw. A lot of the Jews didn't want to hear this example because like, what? What? A, a, a heathen? A, 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 a dog? A goyim? He, this, this heathen Roman soldier of all people, he understands faith better than we do. We doctors of the law and we theologians and we long-term, you know, long-term Jews. Are, and Jesus says, this is a great lesson in faith. I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. So Jesus takes it, and it's the simplicity of faith. And this man has it. And the people who've studied it so much don't have it. So friend, we can just have that same simplicity of faith. God wants to do mighty things for us. Let's let's kind of like get out of the way and, and let him do it. But let's cooperate with him and stay back. And let's not come and say, look, because we have all these these, uh, things to recommend us to you, you should do this for us. No. Great faith just says, I'm a lost person without your help, God. With your help, we'll be blessed, even though we don't deserve it. Let's pray. Father in heaven, please bless us. Bless each hearer of this devotional thought today, even though none of them, and uh, nor I, deserve your blessings. But bless us because of the goodness of Jesus. That's our argument today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's keep it simple and let's follow. Be followers of this man, this God, Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, and the true Messiah. God's blessing be with you too.